Let's talk Cam Newton and the Houston Texans now. The Texans have been listed as the betting favorite for Cam Newton, and that's an intriguing potential destination. Based purely on what they are at this stage of their NFL career as quarterbacks, Newton, you can make an argument, is better than Tyrod Taylor. I also wonder if Cam Newton wants to go to Houston, if Houston wants to bring in Cam Newton, and what the game plan overall is going to be for Newton after he went from being a starter in New England to being cut. Now, here are the odds, eight teams in total via BetUS, of Cam's next football team. The Texans are your favorite, plus 150. The Ravens, which I like as a dark horse, and the Cowboys, both at plus 350, although maybe uh, Ravens aren't a dark horse given where they're at there at plus 350. Denver at plus 550. Two teams with heavy ties to Cam Newton. Carolina, plus 900. Washington, plus 1,200. Pittsburgh, a plus 1,400, and the Giants way down there at 1,600. Houston, I do think, makes some sense because of some iffy quarterback situations. Tyrod Taylor is the starter right now. We know he's not that great. The problem for Houston is that even if Cam Newton is an upgrade over Tyrod Taylor, is Cam Newton going to be enough to make them a better football team, substantially better than what they were when they had Deshaun Watson last year? My answer is no. Even if Houston signs Cam Newton, even if he is an upgrade at quarterback, they're still going to be a bottom NFL team. I, I don't see Houston competing legitimately for a playoff spot. Because of that, I think for Houston, it makes a lot more sense to, even though Cam I think, could be a decent scheme fit, could run the offense, offer so much ability on the ground, to instead see what Davis Mills can do at quarterback to see if he is maybe, probably not, your future at the position. So I, I get the, the connection between Cam Newton and Houston. I'm just unconvinced he really ends up being the guy or an upgrade that makes sense for them in the end. So make your predictions. Where do you guys think Cam Newton will sign? Get your votes in for me right now in the comments section. The Houston Texans have officially named their starting quarterback. It is not Deshaun Watson or Davis Mills. Instead, it is Tyrod Taylor, or Tyrod, depending on how you want to pronounce it. He's fine either way. This is not really a surprise, as Taylor had worked as the starter all preseason, offseason, and training camp. In fact, Deshaun Watson right now is buried on the depth chart as the third stringer, and frankly, I don't know if he plays at all this year. In fact, I lean towards he does not end up playing. So the veteran Taylor, at least for the time being, is getting the starting nod for Houston. He didn't play much last year and frankly hasn't played that much over the past three seasons. Four starts in that time frame. Has played for Cleveland and L.A., of course, lost the job last year when he had the, the punctured lung from the team doctor. And then Justin Herbert emerged and was just so much better. Not great accuracy, not great stats overall. I think it's only a matter of time before the Texans give Davis Mills a shot. He is the third-round pick out of Stanford. He's young and he's raw, but if you're Houston... You're going to have to see if Davis Mills is your guy because you might be drafting the top three or four next year. And if that's the case, you got to figure out quickly if Davis Mills is your guy or if you got to look elsewhere, even if it's not that great of a top-tier quarterback class in the 2022 NFL Draft. In the end, you kind of know my answer. I don't think Tyrod Taylor starts every game for the Houston Texans, but I still want you guys to get your votes in for me. What do you think ends up happening? Does he start every game? Why for yes or and for no?